Look at that. They're still coming. Wow. Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wildy Garden. And thank you for bearing with me. I know there's not been a lot of video uploads over the last month or two. A very, very busy time of year for me. However, lots of videos to come on all the elements of the wildlife gardening jobs that I've been doing from wildlife ponds to wildflower meadow creations and all manner of habitat creation in between coming soon to the channel. So do subscribe if you haven't already. However, today's video is... Um, a bit of a wildfowl filled one if you like. Now I am currently on a public footpath in North Norfolk where I am just starting the latest wildlife uh, landscaping project really because it is a reasonable scale. Um, I've got a big pond I'm renovating alongside some of the planting I'm doing and sort of hard landscaping structures retaining walls and bits of paving so another good time lapse video coming up for you guys in the new year however I couldn't miss the opportunity of bringing you what I think is one of the spectacles of the autumn and into winter if you are in the Norfolk area and that is to witness the influx of thousands and thousands, up to uh, sometimes a quarter of a million um, individuals, and that is the pink-footed geese. Now, I've actually come along this footpath um, to try and get as close as I can to get you some, because these are quite secretive birds. They, they don't tend to uh, enjoy human interaction too much. And there's one or two circling now, but just on the other side of this hedge, there is a flock of hundreds and hundreds of birds. I saw it coming in and I'm literally working just over the way behind the camera. So I thought it would be a shame not to take the opportunity to come and try and show you these birds. Now, as I say, I'm not trying to disturb these birds at any point. I am staying behind the hedge line to try and bring you this footage. So hopefully um, it won't disturb them too much. However, they have been moving around all day and they seem to be spending a lot of the time going from field to field where they are feeding on um, overspill of some of the uh, grains and things that have obviously been harvested. They like sugar beet tops uh, a lot apparently as well and uh, grass as well so and they do congregate in massive massive uh, flocks uh, or a skein is what you might class them as when they are flying over where you see these wonderful huge big V's and groups of them uh, when they're coming in and they come from Iceland um, via the Faroe Islands and down to uh, Norfolk, most of them, I mean a third of the world's population actually um, over winters in the UK. So uh, yeah, quite quite a wonderful spectacle and um, one that I really couldn't miss. Uh, trying to bring you guys and say, you can see just a few of them on the other side of the head. So I'll take a wander to a bit of a gap in a moment, but they are a really incredible bird and you can probably hear now if I stop rabbiting on. So the high pitched call of these birds which is a distinguishing factor when you see them flying overhead and often they are rather high as well so whereas you can often see uh, grey lag geese um, that you might confuse them for although it's just the sheer volume of birds that you often see these skeins of geese come in as which is wonderful as well Brent geese as well um, on uh, in Norfolk at the moment as well it's now the middle of November and numbers will continue to build until a peak of around about January February time uh, before they think about heading back to uh, the breeding grounds further up in Iceland where of course they will uh, breed before heading back here again in the autumn months so yes shall we see if we can take a look I'm gonna try and do this backwards without falling over but hopefully I won't spook them too much but you can perhaps just see in this field sort of back closer you can see them there There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of birds. And they make that contact call when they are in the air and on the ground as well. These ones are just took up. I miss these ones in this field. Oh, 
Oh well, that's done it. Listen to that wing beat. Unbelievable. You see a, a haze of grey. Hundreds, if not a few thousand birds there. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to try and get a bit more of a zoomed in shot for you guys now. So yes, I hope uh, you can still make them out there. Look, this incredible length of birds across the skyline. They are sort of semi-circling back round, so I'm sure they'll come back down in a minute. Obviously, I wasn't trying to spook them, but um, that is just amazing to see. You can still hear them quite clearly, even though they are a long way away in the distance now. And um, yes, if you can, Get yourself to Norfolk uh, this time of year from now until sort of February time when they will be thinking about heading back into March and um, see if you can see this wonderful spectacle. Obviously on the coast is very good as well. We're only um, four or five miles inland at the moment. So uh, yeah, they do come in off the coast to feed and um, make the most of the overspilt grain. And yeah, what a sight there. <laughs> Just unmistakable really once you get your ear in for that call nothing else really like them sort of doing a big loop some have gone off over to the sea uh some are sort of coming back round again wow apparently they um they roost on the coast in vast numbers so it's not quite dusk yet it's um only about half past two three o'clock in the afternoon so another hour or so yet they'll probably be thinking about heading out that way back to the coast for safety but uh Yes, what a wonderful spectacle. I hope you uh, enjoyed that, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will be sure to bring you many more videos on all the flora and fauna of the UK. And, of course, how you can encourage more wildlife into your own green space, whether it is, is even just a balcony or a uh, front or a back garden. I shall be doing more videos on that soon. But We've got a few more coming back this way. You can probably just make out up there. What a wonderful call. And actually now a lot of them are sort of circled round and you, whether you can see or not, um, just kind of on the horizon there. Lots of birds going off that way. Loads and loads of fields obviously for them here to um, pick what they want to eat basically so uh, yes thank you very much for watching guys really hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll see you soon cheers mm -hmm.